I'm just an old man. My time in this world is just about up. Demons or no. If they should take me, I'd be almost grateful. What? Sure thing, bud. Wow. Oh, wow. For the free heal, we need to do this. <laughs> hey, it's not that long. wonder why he has, has such a deep base. Oh, well. So now that we have this village, we can teleport here at any time now, too. Yep. So... He has nothing else to say, I guess. Nope. Wow. He's just... he's just reg. So, time to find the... I think the only way to go is, like, here oh. now. Up, yeah. What yeah. was this? This was the guardhouse? Yeah, yeah, we thought so... we went in there. So yeah. only here. What's this guy have to say? Gorto? So you're... hmm... interesting. My name is Gorto. I hate to be a bother, but I really need to get your take on something. Can you spare a moment? Three days ago, I had a really strange dream. In it, there were these two girls who told me a red-haired swordsman would soon be arriving in the village. They said they wanted me to offer him my help. And here you are. Adal told the guard about the scroll that had led him to Solomon's shrine. Also, this guy must be important. He gets a portrait. Special. <laughs> I see. But even if I let you through this gate, there's still another gate beyond, guarded by demons. You'll need to get past them to get into Solomon's Shrine. You know who's a really important character who doesn't get a portrait? Mm. Adol. Adol doesn't get anything. <laughs> Why didn't they put, like, Adol's portrait on the left or something, you know? He never gets a portrait. You never, you never get a portrait of Adol. He's the main character. You never get a portrait of him. You get a portrait of this Gorto. He gets a portrait in uh, the <laughs> side-scrolling versions of Yeast 3. Oh, yeah? Actually, the side-scrolling versions of East 3, the originals, I don't talks. Oh, God. He actually, like, <laughs> has dialogue. Then they are not canon. <laughs> they were, until they did the remake of Oath of Felgana, where they took out all, all dialogue. Yeah. And as you'd expect, they don't take kindly to humans passing through. Unless you can turn yourself into a monster or something, you've run up against a brick wall. Well, fancy that. I can. You could easily get past <clears throat> that gate by just being a row. And they'll probably be like, oh, you're a monster. <laughs> Let you through. Like well, that. that's what this guy's saying. Yeah. There's a friend of mine, Sada. He went in recently. I tried to stop him, but I couldn't. Oh, uh, well, he's gone. <laughs> we gonna actually get, like, a cutscene of him doing it? Wow, yeah. Oh, yeah, we are. Open the gate, Gorto. I'm going to rescue Maria, even if I have to take down every last demon to do so. He's got a big sword. He does. Sada, look, I understand your feelings, I really do, but let's not do anything rash, okay? You need to calm down and wait for the right chance. Jump in without thinking and you'll just get yourself killed. So, you want me to just sit around in the vain hope that a perfect opportunity comes along? If I do that, Maria's going to... DIE! And I'm sorry, but I can't just let that happen. I know all that. I do understand the gravity of the situation, and I feel exactly the same way you do. Then why are you standing in my way? Maria is my life. There's not going to be a perfect opportunity. It's now or never, and never's not an option. Sada! Stand aside, Gorta! Exclamation mark. Oh, oh wow. shit! Oh wow. I'm sorry, but I can't just let Maria die. I hope you understand. Sada, you Make sure this gate stays shut. Man, if Maria saw this, he would be getting lit never mind. Knowing him as well as I do, I expect he'll give the demons a run for their money. But Solomon Shrine is many times larger than this village, and the layout is about as labyrinthine as it gets. I guess the best thing I could do is uh, do to help you would be to open this gate, but I'm a little afraid to. You may be strong, but I don't think you'll be able to infiltrate the shrine without a bit of forethought. You're fine. Hmm, before you head into the shrine, you should go get, ask Hadot for some assistance. He's got a good head on his shoulders. He'll be able to help you cook up a plan of attack for sure. Oh, really? I'm gonna go find someone named Hada. 
think that was in here, wasn't it? Nope. Nope. That's the blood's fault. I think it said his name. There we go. It said his name on the sign. Oh, he's the guy who gave me that weird... Is there something you needed? Oh, he's he's gonna let us open the chest or something, maybe. Maybe. At all told Hadat that he had come to seek his aid, as Gorto had suggested. In the chest is the hypercutter. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what? You actually want to go into that demon-infested shrine of your own free will? Hmm, at all Kristen, I have a favor to ask of you. I have a son named Sada, but I haven't seen him for three days now. Yeah, he's busy with Maria after rescuing her. They're kind of taking a honeymoon, if you know what I mean. Our family is in possession of a rare sword, an heirloom. Oh, and that sword went missing three days ago as well. Oh! Sada took the good sword, what? Gorto says that my son Sada has gone to the shrine to rescue his fiancée Maria, who was captured by the demons. If you sincerely do intend to infiltrate the Shrine of Solomon, would you please try to find my son, and bring his sword and not him home? Will you agree to help? Sure, I want that sword. I see! Thank you! I'll do everything I can to aid you in this mission, starting with this! Wired a Lila shell, okay. I'm guessing this is some type of, like, communication device. Maybe. Where he can talk to you. With this Lila shell, you can get in touch with yeah. me from anywhere in the world. <laughs> exactly it. <laughs> If you have any problems or need any advice, please don't hesitate to use it. So, we won't let you open the chest then. I regret that I won't be able to fight at your side, but you're a strong, smart fellow. You'll do just fine on your own, I'm sure. I have faith in you. Well, thanks. Can I have your treasure? Do you need anything at all? Something on your mind? Ask about people. Whom shall I discuss? Yourself, Sada, Maria... Oh, God damn it! Uh... Why are there always so many dialogue options? Empty house? Probably about the family who was to live there. Ugh. If I open the chest again, it probably won't let you, but I'll look. Come again anytime. Thank you, come again! No. It's locked! Oh well, time to continue onward. Does it actually hurt him? No. <laughs> oh, he's a huge health bar, Jesus. Yeah. He's bigger than yours. He's strong, he should be doing this, not me. I'll give him my equipment. Alright, time to save so we don't have to go through all this dialogue crap again. Yes, actually... What? What? Oh, it's just... I heard the confirm and then it didn't go in. So Hadot gave you the Lila shell, did he? You can use that to bug Hadot from anywhere in Yeez, right? Pretty handy little artifact to have on hand. Alright, give me a sec, I'll open the gate. He did it. Adventure awaits. Well, there you are then. Take care, at all. All right. Mm. No. Mm. Now save. Again. All right. No, I hadn't saved the first time. Oh. I was waiting for all the dialogue to be done. Hello. Can you hurt these guys? No. What the? So you probably have to be a rogue. Oh my god. Ah. Yeah, I definitely have yeah, to be you a rogue. Probably have to be a rogue. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. What do you want? <laughs> Look at that! Gatekeeper Gate Zerot. Gatekeeper Zerot. Gatekeeper. Gate what's that? You what's that? You beat Adol? And this is your proof? Adol showed his own equipment to the guards. Hmm, it does match with the description we were given. Alright, nice work. Go and report this at once. Do you know where Mistress Sava's room is? It's on the third floor of that building. Oh, what is it? The one priest Meza used to govern? I don't know what it's called, but it's east from the shrine entrance. Got that? Here is only shrine. Which is massive. Maybe now we'll finally have some peace. Go on, you should report this right away. Oh, you killed Adol, that guy we just saw 0.2 seconds ago? <laughs> Hey, what do you think you're doing? So, I guess I just have to stay like this? Probably, you should probably stay as a rude just in case. Yeah. So who knows if you can even hurt these enemies. So, it's um, east. It said east, but I don't know, like... 
Oh god, it really is Labyrinth. And it, this Solomon Shrine. Oh, is this is gonna be awful. Solomon Shrine is basically like the Tower of Durham. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be a long, no. long, long journey. Oh boy. Holy shit, I don't know what I'm doing. I have the right of way here, bub. <laughs> okay, whatever you say, bub. There's a boss door. It's locked. No boss for me. Not uh, yet. Yeah. And now you're on the other side. I'm not gonna be able to maintain this form for very long. I'm fat because I'm lazy. Oh uh, shit. Well, you could try to fight Wow. Lucy. Um. Oh yeah, they're not okay. bad. They're not bad at all. Warp on him. Okay, no. All right. It was just the golden dude. So you have to be in the east. Yeah, I just yeah. don't even... I, like, went to the east, and then a door took me... A door in the east took me this way, and now I'm confused. Well, that, the way that door oh. works is, um... It basically had an exit from the middle, the west, and the east. Is that the password you may not proceed? What's the password? Viento. Nope, that's not it. Shit. <laughs> I'm going to one of those things where you can't guess either. Hmm... Alright, time to, um... Or the east. Yeah, I don't know how to get to the east, is the issue. <laughs> uh, uh, well, the, I know that door, I know where that goes to, I'm pretty sure. Maybe? It probably goes to where you were, which was this door right here. Because there, there, there was an exit in the middle. Oh, here's an exit to the east, I think. Hey, we got an exit to the east. East side. Okay. So we gotta find something somewhere here. Something in the east. Well, there's only one. Oh, now there's two pads. Okay. Ah! He did a lot of damage. Despite having ridiculously high armor. Well, that's because there's new equipment. Yeah, you can't oh! Get oh god. Maybe he's gone, but now he's coming. It's over. You'll never win now. I think I have to be a Rue and go through this guard guy, maybe? He probably has a password, too. Oh, maybe? Surprised. Maybe, but it might be what the game wants me to do. You can try. Um... You could just turn to a Rue and heal while as a Rue, couldn't you? I still have to be standing still, though. Yeah, I but think. they're not gonna hurt you as a Rue. You could stand still without taking any damage. Oh my god, when water goes down the wrong throat. Yeah. It really gets me really bad. I don't know why. <clears throat> Passes, please? Oh, there's some big meaning going on up ahead. If you don't have a pass, you aren't getting in, period. <clears throat> oh my god. So fast words. Oh, hang on a second. <coughs> oh, when water goes down the wrong throat, it gets me so hard. Oh, my whole body is sore now. Rip. Oh. <clears throat> okay. So. Oh, hello. You're Me back. Passwords. Um, no, that was a pass, like an actual pass, rather than a password there, for that one. I think. I think that's what he meant. Well, that door? I don't know what it is. I'm, so many doors. And there's more to walk around, too. Um... This, this is a shrine, alright. Is that a, is, what? Is this, where's the shrine? No, I mean this entire place. This entire place? Oh yeah, yeah, the entire place is the Shrine of Solomon, yeah. Now yes. that I think of it... <clears throat> oh, that just took you right up to that door. This took me here. Oh, there's a staircase down here. I would laugh if this took you to... Okay, I was gonna say, it did take you to that one door I seen before. Uh... But it 
have been. Someone shrines are gonna be fun to go for. Oh my god, this place is so confusing. I feel like I'm just gonna. Oh, if you go up there, you were here. Oh, I was here, yeah. So a lot of the doors just kind of bring you back. <clears> hmm. <throat> just through a different exit. I feel like this is the kind of place where I'm just gonna wander until I eventually find where I need to go. Um, is this something? Wait, yeah, room. Yeah. I'd like to just transform to a road any time. <laughs> Gem Zavanite. What's that? A report from Mistress Zava? I'm afraid she's attending a conference in the Northern Reception Hall. <clears throat> An urgent matter regarding Adol, you say? Very well, then, I'll issue you a pass to get through security. There you go. He is priority one right now, after all, so any information you can provide, we'll welcome. Anything to nip this problem in the bud, you know? <clears throat> there Receive you go. the pass. Okay, so I guess that's the pass to go through the door I just tried to go yeah. through? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so I need to get back to that gate then. I also think there's nothing up here. Yeah, yeah nothing up and here. And it won't be hard to get back to that gate. So, you, up here... You could go up there. <clears throat> there's so many ways, yeah. And you the I think it was left? left. Yeah, left. Then... Yeah. Then you go back up there and all the way around. Yep, I think there's only like one way to go from here. About that much. Yeah. This place yeah, this... isn't <clears throat> that isn't really confusing, it's more of just it looks massive. Uh well, <laughs> I keep going the wrong way. Wait, is this the right oh god, see now I don't know. Is this the right no. door? Nope, it's not the right that door, see? Like a, that's, <laughs> that's like a jail room. No, it's down. Ow. It's like, it's maybe not as bad as it seems, because it seems like every time I go the wrong way, it just leads to a dead end. There we go, we found him. <laughs> He's just like, whoa, what? What did I just see? Yeah. Alright, go on in. Excellent. But when you're done, get back to your post, pronto. You should see. Yeah, so you're probably you right. Have to, uh, go through <clears throat> Oh my god! Well, I can kill them. Pretty sure the only means you couldn't kill the guards. And and those special guards that require puzzle stuff. Like yeah. Passes. I guess that makes sense. Because that would ruin the whole purpose of the puzzle element if you could just ram and kill them. Yeah. <laughs> it would take out a lot of the game. Hey, those enemies are only one. When you just are they? There were, there were the, the, the statues that teleport you to the dungeon. <clears throat> you didn't oh! Have with. Not these guys, but the, uh, the one you Yeah, I know what you mean. They look just like them. They probably are. Oh shit, no, I okay, still so, want to be up here, yeah, I think. Yeah, the north. You need to be in the northern area. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, they hurt! Holy shit! Okay, hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, I don't have the parry ring on. I should put the parry ring on. Oh! Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh. oh, we're outside. So we heal naturally anyway. Oh. The cape is just making it go faster. So you're That's in, awesome. You're in a, does that mean you're in a safe zone? No, I think it's just because we're outside. I guess it is. I guess it's because of the fact that this is a massive dungeon. Maybe? Hmm. I'm into it though. I like it. Alright, parry ring and kill. So I guess we're going this way of some sort. I think it's like this way or something. Oh, he stabbed me. Oh, so oh we, we yeah, can go under here, though. So it is that door. Is there anything, like... Oh, no, it's just a little... Yeah, oh, yeah, just, just nothing, yeah. Okay. Right. So, door here. So we can means. go down here. Oh, <clears throat> and it's well, locked. Okay. Yay! <laughs> so we did it. We need to find the key. God damn it. Well... 
I don't know if the, I don't know if we're looking for the key right away or or what we're doing. So now we have to talk to Zava, who's in the north. Whatever we're doing, we have to do it around here. So actually, maybe up here. Maybe something around here. Maybe. Something to do with Zava. I see a treasure chest. I saw it too. I say go for that first. Aha! Ring of Ease. Ring of Ease. Ah, uh, Ease. <laughs> Almost sounds like Ease. Us. Uh, Ring of Ease. Calms a soul and soothes away one's troubles. Half consumption of magic power. Ooh. Oh, cool. So that'd be good for boss fights. It's also good for staying a roof for a long time. It's true. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like the I feel like against certain bosses the homing would be better. We were just Oh yeah, yeah shit. I I noticed most of these doors loop. That we've been to. Ow. Most of the doors we've been to so far have been very like looping. Yeah, like I don't know where to go right now. Well, maybe one of the enemies here is a rogue you see. I don't know. It's like, yeah, this yeah, is back so where we came from. Um, so there's only there. Did we exit somehow in a different way to the south? No, I don't think no, we did. Did we? Did, no. Level up again. You get a lot of experience here. Um, level 32. So I assume that you have to be up here. Yeah, so we do have to be up here, maybe for one, sure. Maybe one of the enemies gives you key? Is a room? Uh, that is a possibility. Like one of those two golden knights that were there? There's only two of them. Yeah. They were kind of special. There. That's true. Okay. So let's... Oh, whoa, a little bit room. of lag there. Um, let's go Ring of Ease. Become a Rue and go and just like talk to them, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Adol's armor is um, stained in blood, stained red no, in blood. No, it, it, it was his hair. Oh, <laughs> which makes sense. Get out of my way! Shoot. Ugh. Nope. Get out of here. Nope. Oh, I actually can't get through this guy. Now kill him. And now I can't kill him. Oh no, I can't get through this guy either. I assume the Golden Knights are the games you might be talking to. Looks like we're in for another long, drawn-out meeting. Mistress Zava's probably padding it out with gossip and crazy theories. If Lord Dolls was here, he'd keep the discussion on track. Praying with the meeting, doesn't listen to anything else. Anyone else has to say, and as soon as she starts talking, she never stops. Lord Dallas is the perfect balance for her, as he absolutely can't stand idle chatter. It's all business with him. Well, is that I, it? I guess so. <clears throat> kind of cool you have like, some more there for a sec about the characters. Yeah, but it doesn't really help me. It goes on forever. Demons can be really obstinate. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh! oh. Probably this door right here. Well, hello. There's a meeting in progress, so keep your squeaking down. Hey, we did it! Save. Add all heard oh, voices, but they were too faint to make out. Oh. The whistle thingy mabobbers. We can do this. We have the power. Eesh. I just can't seem to access the right menu. You need to <laughs> save. I just did. The intended sacrifices have escaped. Oh. That by itself wouldn't be such a problem, but they also got away with the shrine key. Shrine if at all should get his hands on it, there's no telling how much trouble he'd cause. So we need that key to get into that one door, probably. We're listening in at such a conveniently perfect time. Yeah. They've been quiet since their escape, too. No sign of their presence that we've been able to detect. The entire shrine has been placed on high alert so that we may capture this red-haired swordsman. One misstep on his part, and we will have him. Sure. Even if he makes it to a different sector, he won't get far without knowing our password, Mika. There, well, there's the password. <laughs> yep, as long as we keep that to ourselves, he can't possibly get anywhere important. <laughs> now, about those countermeasures. 
And we don't I listen. love how we're listening in for like two seconds and they reveal everything. <laughs> Alright, so now we can go do that password door. We can do the password. Let's go! Let's go back. Can you get back this way? No. Uh, 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 down. Uh, and then it's all <laughs> the way to the west. All the way. How do we get back there again? Oh god. Um, <laughs> we probably won't be down uh, there. Stairs? Yeah, stairs sounds good. Wait, there's another there's another door here with another guard. You can go in there and check it out if you want. That's just Zava's room? Go in again. Hello. This is Mr. Zava's bedroom? What? You have something to report to her? She's actually out at the moment. She's in the northern reception yeah. hall right now. They're currently in conference. This is gonna blah, 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 blah. So they're just telling you basically this is where you're, you're supposed to go at the time. Apparently this is also her bedroom. They are monsters. Just It's just an empty cement floored room. Yeah. What? <laughs> they're monsters. They don't need anything to live. Does she just sleep on Daikotoma here? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, we're basically just getting told more of where you're supposed to go. Okay. To the west. Um, if I can figure out how to get there. Down. And around. Door? And this door is probably going to loop. We haven't been in this door, I think. Which means it's probably not going to lead backwards. <laughs> but I don't know where to go. Oh wait! Oh, I thought there were gonna be like stairs here, Keep but going there to the wasn't. West. Yeah, but I'm just gonna hit a dead end. If you go back, see? Yeah. Well, I mean, go back. I don't even. Go I don't even know if I'm. Go back in the room and go down the stairs and go back. Continue going west. Cause you're upstairs right now. One here, and there, and that'll find upstairs. upstairs, and then go here. You can see if there's anywhere to go from here. Might have to go. See, these are the stairs I was on before that led to her room. Yeah. So we have to. What go I need to do is get up there. We need to leave this area. It looks like and go. Can you go through that there? Yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh huh, and up here, yeah. and now we're on the right path. Here we go. We're on the way to Viridian City. Oh god, why did they need to make this place like this? It's so awful. <laughs> it's a shrine. It's supposed to be massive. Uh, it's a very important shrine at that. It's so confusing. Okay, so that was the eastern path. We need to go to where yeah. we need a password, which was somewhere to the west? Yeah, yeah to, it was the west. So the western exit. Yeah. Yeah. Which we've been to already once. If we can figure out how to get there again. And, and we're here. Yeah. <laughs> well, that wasn't too hard at all. This is true, so my shrine is a very prominent location. Uh, without the password, you may not proceed. What's the password? It is Mika! That's the one. I'll open the gate for you right away. A sacrificial human has escaped and seems to be hiding out in the subterranean canal. If you find him, report back immediately. Now yeah, save again. <laughs> so we don't have to go through all that again. Exactly. Because... Fuck this place. This is very important. That frustration. was a new enemy. <laughs> you got your frustration on him. I didn't even really see him because I was too busy killing him. What's in him. this random one room door? Is this... Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Pals, this is as far as you go, Adol Kristen. Opposing us as you are would be foolish at best. I suggest that you take your leave. Quickly. You look cool. Mm. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, there's a roof. He probably knows. If you will take your leave, I will forgive your trespass. So he, he knows you're at all. Yep. Can you go can you keep going forward? So you reject my offer? 
I extend to you my good will and you would spit on me? Fool! Oh, this, I'm, is, this is game over, isn't it? Oh, he turned you into a room. Oh! Completely. May you live out your days as that which you have struggled against for so long. This form is most appropriate for one who would so readily dance at the goddess's whip. Well, at least he still has his red hair. This was probably supposed to happen. Well, if I didn't game over, then yes, this yeah. is definitely supposed to happen. However, now it doesn't cost MP. Yeah, which makes sense. You're an actual Rue now. And I can fight, apparently. Still fight. Just very inefficiently. <laughs> Actually, you know, you know what? The damage you're doing might be the same damage you would have been doing as a human. Maybe? A design is etched into the door resembling a hydra. It seems to be locked. Oh shit. So, Wait, that doesn't look like a hydra at all. Uh, I mean, kind of, maybe. One head of a hydra. If it's one head of a hydra. <gasps> look! He gets the frustrated <laughs> dialogue bubble over his head. That's funny. Look at him. Nah. I think there was like a treasure up here or something. Maybe? If I can figure out the way to go to get here. All I know is you're in the right location. Oh, definitely. Because the game told you. Oh, well, I can't, anyways. uh... You were supposed to go here. Ow, ow, holy shit! Run! At least you can use all your abilities still. He's coming for you. Oh, yeah, he is. Use your fire magic. Kill him. Holy shit. I like this room design better than the actual transformation one. The yeah. Color, I, like the, I like the colors more. Black and green. Black and green. Alright, come on. Wish we were outside. It's healing at double speed. It really should just heal at double speed anyway. Uh That sounds like a minor complaint. It is. It is a minor complaint. I have a lot of those about a lot of things. Oh, I have a lot of, a lot of gold. You still don't have enough. I have enough for one of them. You can't even I have yeah. enough for the sword. I don't know if you can use it right now, but... Well, not right now. But I mean... Oh, I just walked right past an enemy by accident. Look at him guarding. Guarding the bridge. Get out of here. Wow, what a guard. <laughs> he did move out of the way when I said get out of here, though. So he's not, uh, he's not the bravest guard. Nope. Boats? Oh! Oh! What? Ah, oh, demon! Oh, yeah! Demon! The humans aren't gonna talk to you now, because you're a That's demon. That's true. They must have tracked us down. Everyone set your weight against the door. Keep that thing out, no matter what. So you have to find a way in. The demon's still there. I can hear him shuffling around. Keep the door held shut. Do not let that thing in here under any circumstances. Adol tried to explain what had happened, but in his rue form, he was unable to speak in any recognizable language. Wow. So what do you do? That is a good question. We need to cure our status effect, I suppose. I don't know. Maybe? I don't know. You can always talk to the, the shell and maybe get a voice from what's-his-name. To who? The guy who gave you the shell to talk to him. Uh, oh, yeah! I'm going to assume you're going to get some sort of ring or some sort of ability that's going to let you breathe underwater. Tried speaking into the Lila oh. shell and an old man's voice echoed in response. Is that you at all? Calm down now, you're not making any sense. What language is that you're speaking? Reg might have some clue, but I don't have the slightest idea what you're saying to me. I'm sorry. So we have to go back yeah. and see Reg? Teleport there. Oh. Runaways hideout. Ramia Village. Okay, so Ramia Village, right? Yeah. Talk to Where is this? The guardhouse. 
Where was Reg again? Over here? He's in one of these houses. Reg's residence. Now what would a demon want with an old fool like me? Et al. desperately tried to... The human steamrolling? <laughs> oh, you know. We're actually... We can't do it right now, because we're, we're stuck in the Rue form. You can still fight, though. We can still fight, but it's it's not as effective. Et al. desperately tried to explain who he was. Hmm. A curse, is it? Alright, I understand. Welcome to the stream, Fish. How you doing today? Don't tell me this is going to be, like, super, super quick, where it's like, oh, you were cursed, and now you're not cursed. <laughs> Just like that. Can you explain to me exactly how this happened? Adol explained the manner in which he had been cursed. Mmm, I see. Quite a powerful wizard, then. Wizard man. First order of business is to get you turned human again, which shouldn't be too difficult. It seems the priest, Dabby, is said to have possessed a magical artifact known as the Sacred Cup. So you have to go somewhere in the shrine to look for her. You're on Yi's Origins now and it's getting frustrating? What do you mean, like Yi's 2? Like the one we're playing? No, he's, he's on... It sounds like he's playing Yi's Origins. Oh, he's right. Playing, the, yeah. yeah, that's a completely different game. Right, I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I forgot. Origins a fantastic game. Though it's very different from every other Yi's. Yeah. It's, Did uh, you play... Um, through all of Chronicles and then go right to Origins, or...? Um, uh, I played Origins before we even got the East games in the West. I played um, it in Japanese and East. The Sacred Cup is said to be somewhere in the Shrine, in a room with walls of a color distinct from its surroundings. I beat Origins in Japanese a long time ago. Finding the room is the first step towards recovering your true form. So, the Shrine, somewhere in the Shrine, yeah, to find the cup. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because uh, before the three PSP games came here in the West, the only easy game in the West I ever played before that was uh, Six. And then I really wanted to play Origins, and I played in Japanese. Eat it. Origins is fun. Fish, did you play it in, in like, uh, Yeast Chronicles 1 and 2, and then go right to Origins after 1 and 2? Is that, like, the order you did it in? Uh, feels like a much harder remake of Yeast 1 with different characters. Yeah, uh, okay. I, would, I wouldn't... I, I would not consider Origins a remake of 1 in the least, Fish. At all. Origins... is, uh... very different. <laughs> the thing with Origins is, though, is um, unlike the rest of the Yeez games, Origins, there's no towns. Oh, really? Or villages. You Literally, the whole game takes place in the Tower of Darm. Oh, what? What? But In the Tower of Darm? But it, the tower is different. Because the way Yeez Origin works, where each floor of the tower is almost like its own dungeon, and has its own... What the? What? I can fight the enemies? You're probably a different Rue. Well, you, yeah. you know what? You don't look like a Rue. Like, you're not the color of a Rue. They're oh. yellow. So the enemies probably see you as... not real. Right? I see. Yeah, Origin is basically uh, a dungeon crawler. The whole game takes place in a dungeon. And each floor is uh, its own, like, dungeon. Oh, wow. Adol is not in it. Which makes sense. Adol can't be in it. Oh, but the guards at the front gate let us in, saying we were the same Rue. Oh. Like, they didn't notice our change in color. Well, the enemies aren't attacking it here, either. So maybe They're not they... attacking, but I can attack them. So maybe it's just... They just see you as a Rue, but... Yeah, they still see you as a Rue, you just, you just can't talk to them. Oh yeah, look at how they do the same frustrated dialogue box as mm -hmm. the monsters in the sewer. So... They see you as a Rue, and they wonder why you're fighting them. Yeah. Yeah, it... Was it, um... Origin takes place 400 years? Before Yeez 1? Yeah, 400 years before Yeez 1. 700, okay. 400, 700 was one or the other. And it's, uh... You play as two different characters, and then you unlock a third character who gives you the... true full story. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah. The game's very different. It's not like any RE's at all. It's 
unique to itself. Is it bump system fighting? No. No? No, only these 1, 2, and the Super Nintendo and Turbo Graphics versions of these four are the only ones that have bump systems. Oh, no okay. Yeah. Each character's play style is totally different? Yeah. That sounds cool, too. Um, I think it's her name is Unisa. It plays like Yi's, where she has an axe and she fights like at all. Hmm. While Hugo is like full of health. He has magic bullets he shoots at. Oh! And then there's a third character who is fucking fast as hell. He reminds me of Wolverine from the X-Men. <laughs> no, no, Origins is great. I certainly plays not as still. Unisa. <laughs> I like playing this her, she's fun. She, she's the, she's considered pretty much the adult of that game. She plays a lot like him. The other two are very unique compared to that, especially Hugo. Origins is a fantastic game. That's why I own it on PS4, Vita, and PC. <laughs> the only version I don't own on that's North American is the Xbox One version. I just don't the own that's the only one that's ever going to be on Xbox. For some reason. I'm going somewhere. I don't know if I'm finding anything, though. I don't know. You're eventually going to find something. Maybe? <laughs> Maybe? All I know is you have to find that item. Oh! Look! Different wall color. Is it? Is that... I think that's what it wanted, right? Maybe? But I don't know what to do in here. Did you use the map tile? I'm down there, but I don't know, maybe. I actually don't remember what he said to do. Uh, chop to the top to the end, and yeah, yeah, maybe he'll tell you something. Oh. Uh, the sacred cup seems to have some connection to Dabby, the priest of light. Apparently, Dabby governed the west wing of the shrine, so logically, the sacred cup should be there. Okay. Um. It's about it. Mm, yeah, but. Mm. I thought they said something about. What's that? Rota fruit. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe he's the man talking. Like the ball down. I don't know. I don't know. On the bright side, none of the enemies are gonna fight you unless you fight them. It's true. What the. Both, uh, both of you. What makes uh, Yi's Origin hard? As a, as a real question from someone who hasn't played it. <laughs> if I remember correctly, Yi's Origin doesn't have healing items or any items. Oh. You only get healing bosses. Bots. Yeah, you don't get any healing items. Your healing is only dropped by enemies. Oh. And you he an instant heal from them. So yeah, boss fights are basically like Yi's one where you can't heal. You have to fight. Shit. Origins. Is probably one of my favorite Yeez games. I love Origins. Like, uh, Mireille, why did you um, um, quit uh, Nightmare Mode? Is, uh, learn a lot of patterns before you have a chance at winning? Wow. But yeah, it depends on the difficulty you play on. Like, I've played the game yeah. on, I think, easy. And like, it's yeah. friggin' hard. <laughs> I, had a, I, I don't have a hard time on easy, but I, I only play games on uh, basic difficulties. I don't like to stress out from the game. I got enough stressing. Oh. He's blocking something. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, and maybe he's not. He's actually just randomly walking oh. around and happened to be wow. in front of that door. <laughs> so, are we in the west? Are you in the west wing? I am in the west wing. So I just, you're, um, in, you're It's one of these doors then? Probably. It'd have to be one of these doors somewhere. In the west I think wing. so. I just don't. Oh. 3,000 oh, gold. Well, that'll help. You're getting closer and closer to buying the new. What is it, 26? Yeah. Yeah. Hours to beat. Is that one boss? <laughs> yeah. Next it's funny because Langetfish just said a boss that you can actually find these two. Oh. The boss you just found, I believe, was named was, was uh, Gilladay. Gilaldi? Yeah, which I think is obviously he's always. See, everywhere I go, there's a locked door, though. Yeah. So it must be hidden because the monsters don't know about it then. It's probably one of those things that was hidden away. Do you have any items that do anything? Uh. 
Dabby, the Priest of Light, West Wing. So it's That's all he says. I swear he said something more detailed when I actually talked to him, though. Probably. Like something about different color rooms. But then this also has different color room. Is a different it, color it's room. It's probably a room that looks very different color compared to the other rooms. Mm. Like maybe there's a significant look to it. The pushover bosses in Yeez 1 and 2 show up and become hard. <laughs> yeah, Origin is up there. Like, E6 is my favorite. Then I'd say Origins is maybe my second. Yeah. Origins has some of the best music in the series. And a lot of great things in it. Plus, it's a game you have to beat three times if you want to get the whole story on it. Once with each character, yeah. right? Yeah. And then you unlock time trial mode where you can play in boss rush, basically. And I think you can play as two versions of Adol in there. Oh! Where you can play as Oath of Felgana Adol or Yi 6 Adol. Because since they're boss rush and time trial, they're not canon. Because yeah. Adol doesn't exist. So oh. this room doesn't yeah. look any different. That makes sense. But yeah. I think I was in there before. Yeah, I think you were. Oh, I'm so lost! <laughs> and either way, we have to stay in the West Wing. Ah, I'm, yeah, I've just. Oh, I feel like yeah, I've checked just, everything. Is there any room? Wait, you. I've. We've we been to that fountain that we've seen back outside there? I think there? I think we've been up there through a different exit, though. Um. Yeah, actually, me too, Fish. Yeah, uh, I like. Seven style, but I still prefer the older game style. Because Seven started making the series less unique and more like an average JRPG, because now you got a party system and all these things. Yeah, but the combat's still probably really fun, right? The combat's That's still, what I'm looking forward to. The combat's to. still action paced, but the games don't feel as unique uh, and as uh, adult oriented. Yeah. This is just back down into the sewer. This one is, so maybe we had to go to a different exit. Because we were, we were at that water fountain at one point in the West Wing. Do you we, mean like somewhere down here? No, no. We we got in there through a different entrance to West Wing, I think. Because we were huh? there before. Where? That water fountain we seen. That was way this. Up. Oh, you were here. Oh, you're here right now. Okay. <laughs> I was up here. Um, what about upstairs there? This is... Uh, no, that's back. That's that's the password guy. Maybe he's past the password on the west wing? No, there's nothing past the oh, password guy. Right, this is, this yeah. is just back. Oh, we're, it's, See, this is just back. Okay, so we have to be here somewhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. boy. I like 7, but it, I still like the older games more. This is... This right here, though, is the problem with the older games, I think. Where... You know, the direction... It, this happened in Yeez 1, too. The direction's kind of lacking, and now I'm just running around with no combat trying to figure out what to do for, like, an hour. <laughs> but the thing is, this is only Yeez 1 and 2. This isn't the, all the older games. Yeah. The rest of them aren't as cryptic as 1 and 2. Hmm. There is one thing that Yeez 7 and Memories of Cell 7 did that was... I guess they had to take it out for a reason. Is um, some of the later Yeez games before Seven, you were able to jump. There was like a jump mechanic; you can actually jump around. Oh! But with Seven, with the introduced a party system, there's no jumping anymore. They took it out. Oh! Jumping's been removed with the dodge system. Oh! Where you can dodge, you can dodge roll. Wait, this seems special, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe. Oh! oh. Well, this is different room. There yeah. is a solemn atmosphere throughout the room. Um, I like Napishtum a lot. Hmm. I like the Napishtum system. The bump system is good, but it was only used for very few games. Can you do anything with this? I just gotta tell you something, yeah. So, where in the room? What's, what did it say? I, I don't know what to do here. What, like, what, now that we're here, what, I have no what, idea. What did it say when you went in the room? Didn't say anything, I don't think. You had text boxes. Did you pop up? Solemn atmosphere throughout the room. Do you have any items that you have here? Um, what's that? What's the? Oh, that's the pass, isn't it? That you got the eye. Yeah, that's just the pass. It shows the I mean, open. The eye looks. 
Unsettling light? No. Whisper earrings? No. Long distance communication. Anti illusion mirror? Now, if if you're not a huge fan of Napishtim's fighting style, 7 and onward is even more action oriented. Maybe something here. Whatever I have to do is, like, I have to stand right in front of the pedestal or something? Maybe. Do we have anything to use? Tried everything. Okay, oh, there's something we're supposed to do in here. Yeah, there's something in here we're supposed to do. Um... This is yeah. We didn't. We haven't gotten a new guidance stone, so it's still talking about the lava area. <laughs> hmm. Anti illusion doesn't work. Mat talk oh, yeah, doesn't work. There must be something. Yeah, there's here. nothing. There must be something here we're supposed to do. Can you use any of your magic? Oops. Whoa! Oh, the light! Oh, the light one. That oh, makes sense. Oh, shit! He did say something about light. Fired in, sacred in the, cup. In the text box. Yeah, I couldn't remember. Yeah. I, couldn't, I couldn't remember what he said. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, we did it. Yeah. Well, yeah, mm. and then, yeah, you wouldn't like, like, napish them then, especially for that reason. Uh, I guess we have to use the cup. Or do you have to bring it back to him? I don't know. We need the ability to dispel evil. Oh, you probably have to go back to what's his name's house and go to his uh, water fountain and his well, and you can put the and you can put water in the cup. Uh, that could be it. That makes that would make the most sense. Yeah, yeah. These games are never very long, though. I think eight is forty hours, maybe or more. Eight's the longest one. Jeez, if it's 40 hours, that's like typical RPG length. Like for, average for, RPG for length. For Yeez, though, that's very long. But for Yeez, it's that's long, yeah. very long. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, um, so that just heals me. I mean, I wonder if I talk to the dude again? I have it equipped. See, I, okay, maybe, maybe if I go through this animation or something and then press square. I'm using PlayStation an analogy, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, no, it doesn't work. Okay. So, go talk to him with it. Maybe. See, like, he might know how to use it. Mm. Hello? I, I beat me, Seven. I really, really oh, enjoy you're it. Ba you're back, and with the Sacred Cup, no less. Now we'll have you back to normal in no time. Like, I don't like, I don't hate any of these games at all. I think they're all great. Studied it excitedly. It is, it really is. It's the Sacred Cup. At long last. Oh, sorry, sorry. You wanted some more sacred water, did you not? Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. I can say with some pride that this old well is another of my research specimens, and a mighty good one. The water supply has never once run out in 700 years' time. If my findings are correct, it should meet all the necessary criteria for sacred water and then some. Mix one part Reg's special well water with one sacred cup, and what do you get? Holy water all the way! Another reason why I was saying E7 and onward kind of feel more traditional is, well, you get the party system, mm -hmm. and and, now you, and there's also a skill system. Characters want to moves now, and there's different equipment. And it's, yeah. it's more traditional RPG than it is ease oriented Yeah. Take a drink. This should return you to your human form. Adol took a drink from the Sacred Cup, now filled with water. Well, we know where to go now, the subterranean canal again. Yep. The thing that I think still uh, he stands apart, even though it feels more classical, is that there's really not very many RPG series that have, like, that full-on action battle system. Yeah, like, like the core you know? of he's there, but if you play the previous ones and then play 7, you can see where the series started kind of going to more of a open... Like uh, more open for like casual people and all that by introducing a lot of traditional JRPG mechanics. Yeah. The skill system, the party system. 
Uh, I don't think there's puzzles in the future that we set in an onward. I used to sell Santa Star bringing back some older E stuff. Which is nice. Like, 7, I would say, is probably the most accessible Yeez game. Yeah. I think I mean, accessibility is good. Mm -hmm. Allows more uh, players to get into, the, into it. Well, that's what I mean by casual. It start opening up to the casual audience for making people, making it easier for people to play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I said, though, I don't hate any Yeez. I like, I love all of them. They're all great. They're all great games, and 7's good for some people. I just worry about the newer games pushing away people from playing the older ones. Hmm. Because, you know, if you play a newer one first and then go back, you're going to be wondering why is all this stuff not in the game anymore. Yeah. And you might really uh, kill people from playing them. That's, that's the thing that sucks. The thing for me, and maybe it's like this for more people, or I hope it's like this for more people, is that... Uh, when I'm playing games, I like to play them in order mm -hmm. so that I'm not like losing features going backward. But I don't really mind going backward very often. Like particularly in games like this that are like, yeah, you know, going back to these kind of arrows. Now, um, stuff like going back to Demon Souls after playing Dark Souls is like, Ugh, no, that might yeah. <laughs> but like, Demon Souls is pretty much Dark Souls, but just not as well done. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm, but with Yeez, it's very different when you, play yeah. with, when you go from the older ones to the newer ones. And there's like, I've seen like online, and I've met a couple of people who are literally like, I can't play the old games, they're horrible now. Not for Yeez, but oh. for, for games in general. Because they're, like, they're like, the new games are so just mechanically better. And it's like, ah, I don't That's know. just sad. I would just see it as a different game, you know, if it's that different. Mm. I just see it as a different game. Oh, if it's not Adol Krista. It's me, Boats, the miner from Lance. I also just yell at him and be like, I was here this whole time. <laughs> he didn't let me talk to you. I was captured by demons in Restini, and well, you know the rest, I suppose. Now, don't be too surprised, but Lilia's here too. Oh, wait, what? Oh yeah, she was kidnapped. I forgot all about that. Yeah, she escaped <laughs> here so with long the ago, I forgot all about her. <laughs> She escaped here with the rest of us, and she simply won't shut up about you. I do believe she's smitten. Mm. Oh yeah, she is. Pretty smooth, lover boy. You work fast. You should go see her and get what's coming to you. Yeah, that's, wow. that, that's the same way with me. If I'm gonna play an older game, I gotta remember this was made in a different era and different time. Yeah. I gotta realize that these problems are problems now, but they weren't problems back then because they were just kind of standard. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's just because I'm a really, really big fan of the Tales series, but mm. I was able to go all the way back and even complete Tales of Fantasia yeah. on the Super like, Nintendo. Like, if, you're, if you're a huge <laughs> fan of a franchise, you're not going to look at it very differently. Yeah. Is it really you? It's like a dream. I, I never thought I'd see you again. I was just out walking not far from the village when some demons on the hunt came out of nowhere. We all fled here after a demon named Keith saved us from the bell tower where we were being held. Oh, it's Keith again. He seems very important. Yeah. You'll probably well see him at some point. While we were escaping, he gave me this key and said to pass it on to you. It's the master key for all the shrine doors. Well, there's all those doors you couldn't unlock, and now you got to go find them again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite certain uh, you'll be able to make good use of it at all. Keith. Uh... So, there was like five or six of them. Yeah. Like, <laughs> An um, ominous voice suddenly echoed from all around Adol. Whoa. I must congratulate you oh. on all your accomplishments, lapdog. I'm sure the goddesses have a treat for you. Oh, that's fine. Oh, I'm sure they do, too. It's probably Dallas. Yeah. I'm sure they have a real yeah. nice treat There's for me. Dallas. You are a most helpful soul, though. You've led me right to the hideout of these obnoxious runaways. Oh. You just fucked everybody. Hmm. These people have learned all too much about this forsaken land, so of course I simply cannot permit them to live. You cope well with your own suffering, swordsman, but how might you fare in dealing with the torment of others? My precious little runaways, since you so deeply fear sacrifice, I'll spare you that fate in favor of another. Is it turn the monsters? Oh, turn on the stone. Oh no! I gotta find a way to save them. 
Oh no, no, how are we gonna get the sex? All at once, all sound was drained from the immediate vicinity. For a moment, Adol feared he had been stricken I deaf. I realized something. Hmm? Why didn't he just turn you to stone, too? That they, is a they good point. would have solved all the problems. What is with bad guys in games and knowing that they can easily solve their problems, but they just are like, oh, no, I'll, I'll do it later. Apparently he did it on purpose just to try to spiral so, Adol into despair. So in other words, he's trolling you. He's trolling you until you snap. <laughs> well, 